gon' give it to ya Fuck way for you to get it on your own X go deliver to ya What's up nerds? Welcome back to Tea Time with your favorite software engineer. If you guys haven't already, subscribe. I'm also hosting a uh, leak code uh, competition in a monthly competition in my Slack channel. So you guys can join that in the description below. It's not too late to join $20 for whoever is the winner. And now today we are going over best time to buy and sell stock. So say you have an array for which the i element is the price of a given stock on day i. If you're only permitted to complete at most one transaction design an algorithm to find the maximum profit so we can only buy one stock and sell one stock so obviously we have to buy it first and then sell it so here um we would want to buy one because it's the lowest and sell it at six we couldn't sell it at seven because seven comes before six so um so the max profit would be six minus one equals five and then in this case it's in decreasing order so our output would be zero max profit is zero so let's go ahead jump right to this let's do the brute force method and then we will optimize so let's create max profit variable set it to zero and we know we got to return it so let's go ahead and do that get it out of the way all right so brute force method is we would just try every combination so we would put i we would use basically two pointers put i at seven and then we would put j at i plus one so it would be at one and then we would just try j would be the inner for loop and so j would try one five three six four while i is seven after we get through all those we increment i j then becomes i plus one so it's five and then while i is one we try five three six four for j so let's go ahead and code that out um So we're going to do i less than prices dot length minus one minus one because um, j is going to be the last um, iteration. J is going to be prices dot length. Um, we can't have them be the same. We need i to stop here at six. So it's length minus one. And then we're going to have our inner for loop for j. So our second pointer. So it's i plus one because we can't have them be the same. So J is actually going to be less than prices dot length. Or this is supposed to be J plus plus. Okay, so now we want to see if it's the max profit. So if um, so, we do prices J because that's when we're selling to calculate the max profit uh, when we bought it, which is prices of I. And oh, I didn't complete the if statement. If it is greater than max profit, let's go ahead and update max profit. And All right, so that should work. Let's run the code. Sweet, it works. Let's see how it runs. So really slow, 5%. Um, so this is O of n squared, obviously for runtime because the two for loops nest inside each other and O of one space complexity. We're not using any data structure. So let's go ahead, reset our code. Um, so how can we improve this? Well, obviously we're gonna want to get rid of a for loop and black up. <laughs> Sorry guys. So um, I should have kept the old code up, but basically we're going to want to keep track of a min, <laughs> a min price and so um we're going to set min price sorry my dogs probably saw the amazon guy hey so min price we're going to want to set it to max value um the reason for this is because we want to update min price on the first iteration so when we loop through we're going to use one for loop we want to update min price to seven because that's obviously the min price so far um and then we're going to update it after we iterate to one. One's obviously less than min price. Sorry, guys. You can hear my dogs. It's the Amazon guy. So let's go ahead and loop through i less than prices dot length. And sorry. Okay, so um, if min price is greater 
then uh, prices of I. Then we want to update min price. So min price, that means prices of I is less than min price. So we want to update that as the minimum price that we could possibly buy a stock at. So, um, and then we want to do if uh, prices, so this is the same thing, prices of J, no, prices of, oh, no, no. So, yeah, prices of I. Sorry, my dogs are distracting me. My train of thought. Min price is greater than max profit. We're going to want to update max profit. Okay, so now um, we updated our max profit. If so, this is basically as we loop through, we're gonna be updating min price. Um, it's actually gonna be set to one, and it's never gonna be set again because um, if you just think about the logic, why would we buy a stock at three when we can buy it at one? So that's the logic behind that. And then we're gonna just see that six is the best point at which we can sell of course of course this is like uh regression wise like going obviously when you're buying and selling stocks you can't see into the future so you actually have no idea so this isn't literally like apply to actually selling stocks but i digress so let's just return max profit and run this Sweet. So this is so much faster. I don't know why the memory usage is so high. All my problems have been like that lately. I feel like I need to clear my cache maybe. I'm not actually sure. Um, so let's go over the runtime. Runtime's O of N. We just reduced it to one for loop. And then the space complexity is still O of 1. And that's all I got for you guys. So if you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like button. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.